These are the gripper arms. So okay. if you go like that, it will control. Mitchell Bell is only in grade five, but he's already writing code and preparing to lead the charge in robotics. Well, I thought it would be cool because, well, I, people have lost arms and like different parts of their bodies. And so I was, I just wanted to help out. So I want to build a difficult robot arm. The Kelowna Christian School student unveiled his project at this year's district science fair. Younger kids, it's really like questions that they have and, and just everyday things. And, and some of them have gone, you know, may go to the internet to find projects. And some of them, there are things that they're, they're passionate about and they want to know more about, which is the direction that we're trying to, to steer kids. You know, we want them to follow their passions and to, to discover things that, the, the questions that they have. And many of those questions students had were about the environment and the future of our planet. Turning milk into plastic. Because plastic pollution is a big problem in the world and we wanted to uh, find something that helps the world, so we um, decided to do this one, because it's more biodegradable. We wanted to find ways to like, you know, improve our environment in a positive way, and we got to see how pollution affects the environment firsthand. Metal rust has the worst impact on our environment. In the past, science fair has always been about competing. It's like, you know, what can I win if I do a science fair project? And that's not what we want science fair to be. We really want to push the idea of celebrating the learning that happens. So it's not what can I win, but it's what did I learn? For the competitive students that have success at this science fair, they'll go on to compete at regionals held at KLO Middle School in April. For Castanet News, I'm Jen Zielinski at UBC Okanagan Campus.